What's up guys and welcome to Web Education's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to record your screen on the Oppo A95. So if you have this phone or any recent Oppo phone, then this is how to record your screen. Now before you start recording your screen, you want to make sure your screen recording settings are exactly what you want. So you can go into settings. And then you want to scroll to convenience tools tap on that and then here you should see screen recording so select that and this is where you'll find your screen recording settings so this slider at the top here basically shows you the two positions you can place the screen recording icon so you can be able to access it more easily when you're trying to record your screen the first place as you can see is in this shortcut menu up here which i'll get to later and the second place is this sidebar menu that you can see right there. Now I'm going to show you how to place that icon there. But first, the settings. And the first set of settings is for sound. Now here, you can choose whether you want to record system sound. And that's basically sounds that are playing inside your phone as you record. This could be when you're recording a video playing inside your phone or any other sound that plays inside your phone. Uh, the second option is to record microphone sound. Now, if you turn this on, it basically means your screen recording will include all ambient sounds, including your voice, if you want to say something during that recording. And then the next section is for picture. And this basically lets you choose the video resolution. The maximum resolution is obviously 720p because this is a 720p display. But can also bump up the bitrate to something a little higher. You can also change the frame rate of your video recording you can record at 60 frames per second 30 24 and even 15 frames per second now keep in mind that the higher the video resolution and the higher the frame rate the higher the file size is going to be of your screen recording and then here you can also choose the coding format you can choose either h.265 or h.264 depending on exactly what you want now also if you want to you can have a screen recording that also records your face if you're recording tutorials using the front camera so you can turn that on if you want to and this basically is going to record using highlights everywhere you touch on your screen and it's going to put that in the screen recording now once you're happy with your screen recording settings it's time to place the icon in an accessible place and start recording your screen now the most obvious place should be this little menu at the top here now you want to go there and find the screen recording icon if it's not there simply tap on this edit icon and then look for screen recording under these extra options there it is there you go so to add it there simply tap and hold it and then you can drag it to the top menu right there so from now on every time you swipe down you should find your screen recording icon right there so to start recording your screen simply tap on it and if it's your first time you have to agree and continue and of course, you need to grant the screen recorder app access to your camera and your microphone and of course your storage to store the screen recordings. And then you should see the screen recording floating menu right there. Now this little menu can be moved to a convenient place right there. And when you're ready to start recording a screen, simply tap on the record button and it's currently recording the screen and everything happening on the screen. You can even see the touches being recorded right there. And since we turned down the front facing camera, you should be able to see your face if you want to see your face in your screen recordings. When you finish recording, simply tap on this little icon again, and then tap on it to stop the recording, or you can even pause and continue again later. Now all recordings are saved in the photos app, so you can find them there, and you should be able to see it right there. You can also go into albums under video you should find your screen recording right there there you go so there's our screen recording and everything happening on the screen and it's currently recording the screen and everything happening on the screen you can even see the touch so as you've heard the external audio was also captured in that screen recording and that's basically how to record your screen on the Oppo A95. Thanks for watching. 
You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.